Hey everyone, it's Jake and welcome to day 11 of learning to program in Ruby. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the new episodes. I also have some 3D modeling tutorials and I'm going to be starting a GIMP series here in the next few days so you'll see those coming out shortly. Okay, today we're going to be going over the for item in and the dot each new or dot each do loop. So go ahead and let's create a, an array first. So type in array underscore test and we're going to make this array equal to so let's make our first item first line Make sure you get your comma make your second item second line and your third item third line go ahead and come down here below that and what we're going to do is we're going to write for item in and we're going to write array underscore test and then we are going to write puts item then we will end it there then we will end the file go ahead and save that save that as item test dot rb And go ahead and open your command prompt and pull it in. We're going to hit enter. And you see here it says first line, second line, and third line. And that is because we that is the for item in array test. We can actually get rid of this item and change that with any word we want. So we can make this for object and we will just need to make this object and go ahead and save that and then we can pull it right back in and you'll see that it outputs the same thing so this is can be any word that you want now what if we want to put this out twice but we wanted to use a different name for it we could do for we can make this uh, backward and we're going to do, um, let's get rid of that one there, in, and let's make this array underscore test, and we're actually going to make this one put it out backwards or reversed. So we'll do dot reverse here, and then the code we're going to do is puts, puts uh, backward. Now again, this doesn't have to be the word backwards, so let's actually make this so it's less confusing. Let's make it uh, surf, and let's make the puts surf. There's a command for it to be reversed is here, the dot reverse. So let's go ahead and save it, and then let's pull it in again. Hit enter. Now you can see that it says first line, second line, third line, so it's completed this for object in array test. And now it's starting this for surf in array test dot reverse. So you see here it says third line, second line, first line. We can actually come in here and if we change this to print, change that one to print as well. Save it again, pull that in again, and hit enter. You can see that it's all on the same line. First line, second line, uh, third line, third line, second line, first line. And if we want to put a space between these, we would come right down here right after the end, and we would do puts. We could hit save, and then we can pull that in. And you can see first line, second line, third line, third line, second line, first line. Now notice there's no space here. What if we wanted to put a space here? We're actually going to put spaces in between these, second line and third line. And then we're going to save that, open our command prompt, and we will pull item test in, hit enter. And now you can see that it says first line, second line, and there's actually a space in between the line and the, and the third, these words before. And we want to put a comma in here as well at the end of these. 
Now let's come and hit save and then go back to the command prompt, pull that in and hit enter again and now you can see that it says first line, a second line, a third line. And on this one you can see that it says first line it actually has the comma here and that is because the comma is at the end of this and it's making this show first. I hope that makes sense. As you can see here, the comma is on the end and that's because the third line is the first item that's listed. So if we actually wanted the comma to be here, then of course we'd have to come in here and put a comma there and then we would hit save. And then we would pull it back in and you could see here that it's first line, second line, third line, and there's commas on the end as well. But what if we don't want to put a space in front of each one of these? What if we only wanted a space to be on a certain outputs? So let's come down here, and again, I've deleted these spaces here. And instead of putting print surf, what we're actually going to do, we're going to do quotations, we're going to do a hashtag, we're going to do curly braces, and we're going to write surf, and then we're going to do another curly brace on the outside, and then we're going to make sure to have our quotations. And then we're going to come back in and we're going to put a space right here on the end. Then go ahead and save it. And then let's come back in to our command prompt. And pull that in. So you can see here that on this first one, we didn't have the space, and so you can see that there's actually no space in between the comma and the S, but on this one we do have that space, and that is because we put the space here. So if we wanted to, we could come in here, and we could also make this have spaces. We can actually put anything we want, technically. So let's do um, a hash mark, and then let's do a curly brace, and let's make it object. Oh, we already got the object in there. So let's add the curly brace here, and then let's make sure we have our quotes. Now let's go to the front of it, and let's have the front say item one. And we're gonna put a space there as well. And then let's go ahead and save it. Come back in, pull in the item test, hit enter, and it'll say item one, first line, item one, second line, item one, third line. So as you can see, it just repeats item one, first line, item one, second line, item one, third line. We actually want this to be counting up. So let's go back into our editor and let's actually change some of these items on our array. And let's change the name of this array test. So come in here and let's type favorite underscore candy. And then let's come in here and let's make some favorite candies. So let's come in and do Reese's. I don't even know if I'm spelling that right. Reese's. And let's do Snickers. And I don't know, put, put what your favorite candy is. It doesn't have to be what I'm putting in. I'm gonna do Milky Way. And I'm gonna add a fourth one actually. And I'm gonna do, hmm, what is a good candy? Three Musketeers? Yeah, three Musketeers. Tears. Make sure I get my quotes in there. And we actually are going to get rid of our commas here. Not going to need those for now. I think I missed that last one. Let's come in here. Nope, it should be fine. Now come down here and don't panic. We're actually going to delete all this. It's okay. We will come back to it. Just go ahead and knock that out. And we're going to be doing this a little bit different way. So we need to create a counter first. So write counter and let's set our counter equal to one. That is going to be our starting number. Then we're going to come down here and we're going to write favorite underscore candy. And we are going to do dot each do. Okay, and then we are actually going to do a straight line going down. This is a vertical line, and it's actually right above your Enter key. If you hold down Shift, it's right above the Enter key on most keyboards, and there's also a backslash that's right next to it, so you should be able to see that. And then you're going to type candy, 
or item. You can actually type whichever you want. So type item and then do that vertical line again. Now below that we're going to grab our counter. So let's do puts and then quotation and we're going to write a hashtag and we're going to do the curly braces and counter. Come outside of the curly braces and do a colon and then hit space. After the space we are going to capture that item. So let's go ahead and do our hashtag again with our curly braces and type in item. Come right outside of item and below that we are going to increase our counter by one each time. And how we do that is we need to write counter and then plus equals one. Go ahead down below and end it. Then hit save. Come back into your command prompt and pull in item test and hit enter. Now you can see here it says one Reese's, two Snickers, three Milky Way, four Three Musketeers. Now what's cool about counter is that we can actually make it count by more than one. So we can write a two here that's going to increase it by two each time. Hit save and pull that in. Hit enter. So it says one Reese's, three Snickers, five Milky Way, seven three musketeers. Come back in and let's actually try and subtract numbers. Get rid of that plus, write a minus, come up here and let's set our counter at four. And then let's hit save and pull it in again and hit enter. There we go. Now it says four Reese's, two Snickers, zero Milky Way, negative two, three Musketeers. Whoa! Okay, so what is it? Let's come back in here and let's get rid of that two and make that a one. Then save it, come back in here and pull it in again. And hit enter. Now it's right. Four Reese's, three Snickers, two Milky Way, one, three Musketeers. Now there's one more item for today and that is the underscore with underscore index. So let's come up here and add a underscore with underscore index. This is actually built within Ruby. And then here we're going to write a comma after the item and write index. Now let's come down here and get rid of our counter. And for counter we're going to write index. And before that let's just do list item just to play around with it a bit and then let's hit save open our command prompt with Ruby and pull in the item test and you can see here it says list item 0 list item 1 list item 2 and list item 3 Let's come back in here and get rid of the list item. Hit save. Oh, not open. Let's hit save. And let's pull it in. And hit enter. And you can see it says 0, 1, 2, 3. Also, if you didn't want your colon here, you can get rid of that. And let's add a dash. Then let's save it and pull that in. Hit enter and now it says 0 dash Reese's 0 or 1 dash Snickers 2 dash Milky Way. So let's come back in here and let's get rid of our counter. We no longer need that. And let's get rid of this dash. Let's add a 1 and then let's bring it in after we save it. There we go. and hit enter. Doesn't like that. Zero Reese's, one Snickers, two Milky Way, three Musketeers. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the other episodes. I am working on some GIMP tutorials right now, so I'll have those uploaded pretty soon. If you haven't seen my kind of life 
hack tips or advice on being more social and outgoing, ways to get a job. I also have some video tutorials on those as well. So go ahead and check those out. Thank you for joining me tonight, and we will see you tomorrow. Peace.